Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to find the gradient at 2 comma 2 of this function and then we're going to find the maximum value of the directional derivative at 2 comma 2. Solution. So the gradient vector is just this vector with partial derivatives like that. That's the definition of the gradient. Pretty easy to memorize. So we just take the partials. Let's just do it. So the partial with respect to x, well here is just going to be 2x, that's the derivative of x squared. And we're treating y as a constant, um, so the 2y hangs out, the derivative of x is 1. And so we just get 2y, so plus 2y. So the partial with respect to x is 2x, and then here the derivative of x is 1, and the 2y hangs out, so you get 2y. Uh, the partial with respect to y, well, this derivative here is 0, right? So 0, we're treating it as a constant. And then um, this y here, its derivative is 1. So we're left with 2x for that partial there. All right, so the gradient at 2 comma 2 all you do is plug in uh, 2 for x and 2 for y. So you get 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 2 times 2, which is 4. 2 times 2 is 4. So we get 8 comma 4. So that is the gradient vector, right? It's a vector that points in the direction of maximum increase, right? That's what that is. So at 2 comma 2, this is the vector that points in the direction of maximum increase of this function. So in part b, we have to find the maximum value of the directional derivative. Well, the directional derivative is a rate of change in any direction, right? Remember, you can find the directional derivative uh, in the direction of any unit vector. So you can find the rate of change in any direction. We want the maximum value of the directional derivative. So since the gradient vector points in the direction of maximum increase, all we do is we take the magnitude of the gradient to find the maximum value of the directional derivative. <laughs> That's a lot to say. All right, so all we do is take the magnitude of this guy. So. It's the square root, and then you just square the components. So 8 squared plus 4 squared. So it's going to be uh, 64 plus 16. So that's the square root of 80. And I suppose you could simplify that, but I'm just going to leave it and, and be lazy. I hope that made sense. 